Good evening, Horrible Film Guild. This is Michael reviewing the film Twin Daggers. Now, look at the cover of this film. You could basically assume that A, it's a really shitty martial arts film, or B, it has little to nothing to do with the movie, as most B-movie covers do. And um, we're going to have to go with A in this case. Uh, the film is basically incoherent, stupid, there's no real point for it. In fact, watching it, I liken it to basically trying to remove cancers from your body through using a turned-on microwave. Or, you know, I don't know. Uh, let's imagine you're running through the Amazon rainforest, and um, you're just going out there for days on end with no food, no water. That's what this film is kind of like. You, the walls are closing in, and you just simply want it to end, but you're too much of a coward to kill yourself. Either that, or you have nothing near you to kill yourself with. Luckily, on hand, I have two cans of Schweppes ginger ale, and um, I could possibly fashion like a tin knife out of them and slit my own throat, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen in this case. But, uh, you know, there, it's, it's, it's one of those films that you can't really say there is much going for it. I mean, most of the shitty films I review, I laugh until I cry, but with this film, it was just tears. There was no laughter. It was stolen from me, like Angelina Jolie's child in, what the hell is that film called? Changeling. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Google. Anyway, um... As most people will dictate about this film, the weird things are the fight scenes are sped up by like half speed or a fourth speed, whatever. I don't know. I'm not inclined with these things, but they speed up the fight scenes. Every actor has a single stunt double who is this man, this really short Chinese man, and he plays the women, the men, the killer mime, yes, there's a killer mime um, that focuses on a group of four individuals, and uh, one of them is a, a killer mime. The woman, of course, as a, a champion of women's rights, is uh, named Body. Yeah, Body. Creative, isn't it? They really went to town with this one. Um, other than that, I don't remember anyone else's name. I don't really recall there being much of a plot besides this uh, really ridiculous, ludicrous, stupidity. Uh, it, yeah, I was going to say stupidity. That doesn't even work in a sentence. The, the, you see what this film is doing to me. I'll read you a full synopsis here. In the 1930s, a famous Los Angeles underworld hitman scholar, played by Rhett Giles, that's quite a name, and a band of trained assassins are hired by the exotic and beautiful Kay, who's played by Coco Sue. Lovely. To avenge her parents' death by the hands of her equally stunning twin sister. Maybe we're not watching the same film because she was definitely not stunning. Traveling to Shanghai, Scholar finds the twin sister Sue. Oh, they went. They were real creative there who is also played by Coco Su, obviously since they're twins and they couldn't afford a digital double, has taken over the family fortunes and lifestyle. He finds himself falling for his target instead of killing her. He chooses to save her from his fellow assassins, played by Veronica Biro, Joey Covington. I don't even know if this is the same name, but it's just in the list without commas. Vasilios Elovalis. Nice. By taking them out one by one. Torn between his commitment to his paying client and his romantic feelings for her sister, Scholar Mer <laughs> This is great. Scholar enters into a dangerous liaison with both unable to trust either one, unable to let them go. In a moment of truth, Scholar finds that Kay and Sue are not as he perceived. Well, thank God and instead are one in the same. Ooh. He had been set up by this woman to honor her family. Come to find out, Scholar had killed her parents when she was a teenager, and she had spent her life saving, seeking revenge, and restoring her family's honor, culminating in a spectacular...
secular martial art battle between the twins and the assassins are to kill them. Twin Daggers is an intricate and stunning movie that delivers one surprise twist after another. Uh, let's get one thing straight. The, the only surprising twist is the fact that this got green-lighted. Um, first of all, there's the fact that this is one of those weird Chinese films. I think it was originally made in China, but shot in English. So that instead of people whining about a dub, literally the Chinese cast also had to speak English with Rhett, who is like an Englishman. It's just a really weird combination here. I don't know why he's even called Scholar if he couldn't even figure out that the twins were one and the same. Whatever. The only entertaining sequences I can remember in this film is when the killer mime is going all like bouncing off walls and shit. I don't even know if he was bouncing off walls. It's really hard to pay attention when there's names like Body, Lex, and Ghost. Yeah. Ghost. It was played by the guy with the weird name Vasil... whatever. Vasil... Vas I can't even do it. So Twin Daggers all in all is the kind of film that you show to your like cheating spouse on movie night you know just to reinvigorate the feelings of hatred in that relationship you just kind of let it all go and I mean if you want to brave this new frontier of film stupidity be my guest go right ahead because I swear to you you will definitely regret it by the end credits you'll probably be somewhere where I was you know wondering why they don't offer prescription medicine to those of us who have to suffer through these kind of things I know it's self-inflicted but if bulimic girls can get help and that's self-inflicted I think we should also get help with our addictions I saw an episode of forever night today dealing with addiction and in the end it then nothing happened it's kind of like this film. Nothing happens. It's like an episode of Intervention with someone addicted to breathing air. What happens? If they stop breathing air, they die. When this film ends, you die a little on the inside. You definitely do. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I also have to point out another thing about this film that I'm never going to get over is the terrible 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 fucking fight sequences they are fucking horrible i sat there and i watched body do like spin flips with knives in her boots stripper boots thing whatever i just do yourself a favor do not check this out if you do at least remember i warned you this is like worse than tooth fairy and a sound of thunder at once. It's like combining the two and watching their offspring run around r spreading their AIDS-like diseases to various places. Just, just don't do this to yourself, please. I beg of you, I'm begging you, don't do this. So if I had to give this a, a rating, <sighs> this is tough. I would give this film a probably like a negative six out of four yeah all right i hope this helps you in some way um underneath this there's going to be a trailer for the shit film and i can't find any fight sequences or scenes so you're just gonna have to embark on it yourself all right enjoy